What is the importance of human resource? Behind production of every product or service, there is an human mind, effort and man hours or working hours. No product or service can be produced without the help of human being. Human being is the fundamental resource for making or construction of anything. Every organization desire is to have skilled and competent people to make their organization competent and best. Among the five elements of management, for example, men, money, machine, material, and method, HRM deals about the first M, which is bad. It is believed that in the five MS, men is not so easy to manage. Every man is different from other. Why do you call it as human resource management? Therefore, human resource management is meant for proper utilization of available skilled workforce and also to make efficient use of existing human resources in the organization. The best example in present situation is construction industry has been facing serious shortage of skilled workforce. It's expected to triple in the next decade from the present 30 per cent will negatively impact the overall product productivity of the sector. Today, many experts claim that machines and technology are replacing human resource and minimizing their role or effort. However, machines and technology are built by the humans only and they need to be operated or at least monitored by humans and that is the reason why companies are always in hand for talented, skilled and qualified professionals for continuous development of the organization. Therefore, humans are crucial assets for any organization, although today many tasks have been handing over to the artificial intelligence but they lack judgment skills and which cannot be matched with the human mind. The automation of factories has already decimated jobs in traditional manufacturing and the the automation of factories has already decimated job in traditional manufacturing and the rise of artificial intelligence is likely to extend this job destruction deep into the middle classes. With only the most gearing, creative or supervisory roles remaining, British theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking. It is undisputed that humans are being replaced by artificial intelligence which are in the form of robots. But all jobs cannot be handled over to robots. To say, in other words, robots have its own limitations and the roles that all it bear cannot be handled by robots. Though British theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking, Cambridge professor, expressed that the About destruction of middle class jobs due to rise of artificial intelligence, he still felt that the natural intelligence or need for applications of human mind is inevitable in certain roles. Scope of Human Resource Management The scope of human resource management refers to all the activities that come under the banner of human resource management. These activities are as follows. Human resource Human Resource Planning Human Resource Planning or Human Resource Planning refers to a process by which the company to identify the role of jobs in numbered vacant, whether the company has excess staff or shortage of staff and to deal with the excess or shortage. Job Analysis Design Another important area of human resource management is job analysis. Job analysis gives a detailed explanation about each and every job in the company. Recruitment and selection. Based on information collected from job analysis, the company prepares advertisements and publishes them in the newspaper. This is recruitment. A number of applications are received after the advertisement is published. Interviews are conducted and the right employees is selected. Thus, recruitment and selection are yet another important area of human resource management. Once the employees have been selected, an injection or orientation program is conducted. This is another important area of human resource management. The employees are informed about the background of the company, explained about the organization, culture and values and work ethics and introduced to other employees. Training and Development Every employee goes under training program which helps him to put up a better performance on the jobs. 
training program is also conducted for existing staff that have a lot of experience. This is called refresher training. Training and development is one area where the company spends a huge amount. Performance appraisal. Once the employee has put in around one hour of service, performance array performance appraisal is conducted that is a human resource department checks the performance of the employees. Based on this appraisal, future promotion incentive increment in salary are decided. Compensation planning and remuneration. Compensation planning and remuneration. There are various rules regarding compensation and other benefits. It's the job of human resource department to look into remuneration and compensation planning.